In this video, I'm going to assume that we already are familiar with slope-intercept form. Uh, I'm going to assume that we already know that the m, the coefficient of the x, represents the slope of the line, and that the b represents the y-intercept of the line. In this, in this video, what we're going to talk about is how we take that equation that's written in slope-intercept form and get a graph from it. So in other words, how do we graph a line when it's in slope-intercept form? So here's some steps that we're going to follow. So step number one is put your linear equation in slope-intercept form if it's not already. A lot of times the equation will already be in uh, slope-intercept form, so you can skip this step but a lot of times it will not be in slope-intercept form and you'll have to subtract some x's or divide by some constants or you know do various things to put it in this particular form right here all right but the real meat of the steps are steps two three and four so once it's in slope-intercept form number two is we're going to start by plotting the y-intercept the slope doesn't do anything for us before we get the y-intercept plotted so plot the y-intercept first, then step three, use the slope, use the m, use the rise over run from one point to the next to plot a few additional points. But And the key is, is to start at the y-intercept. So for example, if your slope is two, and so as a ratio that's two over one, you'd start at the y-intercept and go up to over one, up to over one, up to over one, and you would get a, a sequence of points that are all on your line, and you're, you're finding those points by using the slope. And then the last step is a simple one, number four, just connect the points that you've plotted with a line, and then that line is the graph of your linear equation. So th these are, are really, really fast. There, there's not even a lot of writing to do. If you remember when we graphed using x, y tables or x and y intercepts with the test points, there was a lot of writing that, that was involved. But these require very little writing. So let's try a couple examples. So the first example, let's try to graph y equals 2x minus 3. And so hopefully we can read off that the m, the slope, is the 2, because that's the coefficient of the x, and the y-intercept is negative 3. So the y-intercept, uh, we'll just say y equals negative 3. You could write it as a point, 0 comma negative 3, but on the y-axis, the y will be negative 3. So let, let's follow these steps. So step 1, put the linear equation in slope-intercept form. I think that's that was already done. It's already y equals mx plus b. So we could skip that step. Step number two, let's plot the y-intercept first. So the y-intercept's at negative three, so we'll go to negative one, negative two, here's y equals negative three, and we'll put a dot. That point is on my line. Next step, we're going to use the slope of 2, I believe it was, to plot a few additional points uh, in addition to the y-intercept. And, and we're going to start at the y-intercept. So a slope of 2, that doesn't do any good written as an integer. So let's write this as a fraction 2 over 1. That's still 2, but what I can see more easily when it's written like that is that the rise between one point and another on the line is 2 compared to the run, which would be 1. So that ratio between the rise to the run for any two points on the line will be 2 to 1. So we can use that to get an additional point. Let's look at our graph. Uh, if we go from the y-intercept, another point on the line would go up two units while we go over one unit. And so the slope between these two points would be rise over run 2 over 1 up to over one. And we could do that again. From this point, we could go up two more units, up one, two, over an additional unit, and we'd be right here. And then we could go up two more, and over one again, and we'd be right here. Up two over one, up two over one, etc. And I think we're done. I think we've got the graph of our uh, linear equation. It would look something like this. We just draw a line between all these points. 
And that line right there, that graph, is the graph of this linear equation. And, and you notice how, how little I wrote here, and I probably wrote more than I needed to even, because uh, I didn't even need to draw these arrows and write the equation again and that sort of thing. Just the slope, the y-intercept, and you're done. Let's try one more example. Here we have x plus 2y equals 6. Now you have to be careful not to make a mistake. You can't look for the slope or the y-intercept right now. It's tempting to say that the slope is 1 and the y-intercept is 6, but notice we don't have y isolated yet. y is not solved for it. So let's do that before we do anything. So we'll um, subtract x from both sides. So we'll have 2y equals negative x plus 6 and then we'll divide both sides by 2 and so we'll get y equals negative 1 half x and notice what I did there I took the negative x divided by 2 plus the 6 divided by 2 which is 3 so negative x plus 6 all divided by 2 is the same as negative 1 half x plus 3, which is 6 divided by 2. This is in slope-intercept form, and so now I can talk to you about the m, the slope, and the b, which is the, the y-intercept. Okay, so the m for this linear equation is negative 1 half, and the b is positive 3. 3 is the y-intercept, negative 1 half is the slope. So let's go back to the steps again. Uh, first thing you'll, you'll recall that we do is we'll start by plotting the y-intercept. So we'll go up one, two, three. This is where the, this graph crosses the y-axis. And then from there, let's get some additional points using the slope. So rise over run, negative one over two. Now, now if your rise is negative, that actually means go down if you have a negative rise. So we'll go down one and to the right two. If your run is positive, you always go to the right. If your run is negative, you go to the left. But we're gonna go down one over two, and you could go down one over two more. And you could go down one over two more if you wanted to. Down one over two, down one over two, down one over two. Do that enough times, they should start to create a straight line and so we can get the graph of this linear equation uh, simply by connecting these dots. So if we draw a line, that's not a very good one, Let me try that again. If we draw a line between these points right here, then that graph is the graph of this linear equation up here. So again, these steps are pretty straightforward. Uh, I would encourage you to practice them a lot, but just to repeat one last time, Put your linear equation in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Start by plotting your y-intercept and then get to some additional points by going up a certain amount and over a certain amount based off of what your slope is. And then when you're done, connect the dots to get the graph of your linear equation.